Alright guys, welcome back to another Fortnite video. Hit that like button down below if you're excited for the new year. If you want to have good luck for the new year, hit that like button down below. But today guys, we have got to talk about overtime challenges or more specifically like more details about overtime challenges. We talked a bit before about the uh, purple version of Remedy, but this time around we're going to be talking about, you know, overtime variants of other skins, other overtime challenges, and how they're going to be working. Because obviously there's more than just that one skin that we talked about there's a lot more and i'm going to be getting you guys all the info in today's update news video so we're going to be covering it all and it's going to be a lot of fun guys and if you do enjoy it be sure to hit that subscribe button turn on notifications to be kept in the know with this kind of stuff and also guides for the overtime challenges when they release but yeah on top of that if you guys want to help support me you can do so by using code the llamaser in the item shop i get a bit back from those purchases it helps support the channel and i appreciate it a ton but without further ado here guys let's just go ahead and jump into it because again, there is so much to talk about with overtime. And as you guys know, this season has a lot of time left in it. So it honestly makes a lot of sense that they would do overtime and make it a bit more special and unique from previous seasons because they are changing it up a little bit. But anyways, guys, let's start off here with a little bit of a recap of previous overtime challenges, how they've worked, just so we're all on the same page of what to expect this time around with overtime once we get into the more specific details. But yeah, guys, ever since around uh, Valentine's Day is when they started with these overtime challenges and back then they started off fairly small it wasn't anything too crazy we only got like a few skin variants and stuff like that in fact it's usually around three skin variants is what we get and as a reminder this is all to earn variants of battle pass skins and overtime challenges are only available for people that own the battle pass but they're also completely free if you own the battle pass these overtime challenges and styles are free extra challenges that they add towards the end of the season to get you those extra styles and what do i mean by extra styles well like as a reminder here guys just going through like some of the older skins you've got like this version of ember right here you know the normal version was more of the like fire colored reddish orange clothing and stuff like that and then they switched it around for the uh overtime challenges and you got the night style which is a really cool style i like this one a lot where it's more of a blue fire theme but she also gets like silver hair and that's something to keep in mind as well these overtime challenges Challenges, a lot of the times have very unique colors and changes to the skins like also for example here if you take a look at um, Sidewinder which I believe was from the same season yeah season 8 her normal version was fairly simple I honestly don't ever see anybody using this skin but then for the overtime variant of this skin it changed to the dark variant which was more of a black and blue theme and as you can see her hair also got like this flame effect to it so again when they do these overtime skins a lot of the times they're you know switching it up with you unique effects to the skins which is really cool and exciting to see and also using unique colors like for example here also um let's take a look at one of the most recent one from season x the eternal voyager got this red and gold version to him which was pretty cool i actually like this one quite a bit sort of like iron man colors a little bit but yeah you can see that they really like to do unique colors also stratus got these really unique colors which a lot of people weren't a huge fan of but again puts emphasis on how they use these overtime skins and stuff to create very unique variants for us to get for free and we'll circle around back to that when we take a look at what these skins are probably going to look like for season 11 this current season for overtime and then on top of that guys obviously we get challenges and stuff to unlock them and so far we know that we already have a variant of remedy again if you saw my previous video you already know about all of this but real quick recap of that we already know that there's a version of remedy and you can see it in game for yourself you just go to edit style go all the way over to the right and you can see the purple variant of the skin and on top of that there are purple variants of her back bling and also the pickaxe which are going to be for overtime but that's not the only thing that's going to be for overtime guys we know that there's pretty much going to be or expected to be four different overtime sets of challenges and they're going to be done differently from previous seasons again in previous seasons the overtime challenges were pretty much all released at the same time or in some seasons they were unlocked in like a couple days at a time but for the most part they were all a part of like the same set of challenges this time around it's looking like there's going to be a separate set of challenges for each skins variant so again four sets of challenges in total which is very interesting because because it seems like this time around overtime is going to basically be similar to just normal battle pass challenges where each week we get a new set of challenges to complete but this time around they help us to unlock the special variants of skins which i'm excited for guys
guys. I'm excited to help you out with those challenges and help you get these variants of the skins. But yeah, on top of that, we do know that there's probably going to be around four of these. And the reason that we know that, well, first of all, one clue that points towards this, leakers such as iFireMonkey on Twitter had pointed out that this first set of challenges was called Overtime 1. That's right, 1, implying that there's going to be more. And obviously there's got to be more. We've only seen one skin in the past. They've done like at least three. And again, I'm expecting that there's going to be four. And the reason that I expect there to be four is because there's around four weeks left in the season. We currently know that the purple variant is going to be the first set of challenges and we can already see in game. And you can see this for yourself if you go into the challenges. As I'm putting up this video, it says six days remaining until that first set of challenges for purple remedy are unlocked. And that basically leads to around January 9th, which is this Thursday. At least that's the expected date. Sometimes these in-game timers are a bit confusing when they switch to like 24 hours, but that should be the general time. And with that being said, that leaves us about uh, three other Thursdays on top of that before the end of the season, which is expected to be around February 6th. You've got January 16th, January 23rd, January 30th, and again on top of that, January 9th, which is the Purple Remedy challenges. So yeah, it looks like there's going to be four sets of challenges total. Now with that being said, guys, what skins can we unlock from these overtime challenges? Well, so far, Purple Remedy is the only confirmed one, but judging from previous overtime challenges and concepts that I've made, we can pretty much expect, you know, which skins are going to get variants and what they may look like. And there's some very interesting ones here, but like just jumping into it with one that I think is very likely to get a style. And this is just a fairly simple one to start it out, but Journey versus Hazard. So as you guys know, Journey versus Hazard, the regular style has like pink and orange clothing. But like, again, when they do overtime challenges in the past, they like to switch up the colors a lot. So I think them doing something along the lines of green and blue for this skin, as well as a bit of orange, would make a lot of sense and would be something that Epic Games would definitely do. And on top of that, it also seems most likely that they would stick to the first style of the skins. That's just an idea, but based off of the purple version of Remedy, those were versions of the first styles of the skins, not the second like villain type style. They were versions of the good guy style. But yeah, on top of that, she'd also have a uh, glider to maybe fit in with that style, which I think is pretty solid. But let's keep it going here. Also, I think it'd be very cool to have a variant of fusion. We've talked a little bit about this in the past, but if they did like a purple version of fusion or maybe a red version, that would be so cool. However, guys, I do think it's a little bit unlikely since this is the tier 100 skin. I don't think we've ever in the past had an overtime variant of a tier 100 skin. So this is probably unlikely as cool as it is. And honestly, I hope they do add it because it is super cool. But again, unfortunately, it's probably a bit unlikely. Then on top of that, guys, also like a version of Ripley, I think is pretty obvious that they're probably going to add a version of Ripley. And I would expect like a lime neon green type version. On top of that, a version of the sledgehammer as well, his pickaxe. I think that would be very likely and it would be pretty simple for them to do. But yeah, Ripley versus Sludge. He's also one of the fan favorites of this season's battle pass. So yeah, that one would be probably pretty obvious. On top of that, how about this version of Cameo versus Sheik? And this is the villain version that I made a concept for because I think this variant is the cooler variant. So again, it's probably going to be the other, you know, good guy version of the skin that gets a variant. But in case it is this variant, they could do something like this. Again, I tried to push those unique colors that they tend to do for overtime. And you've got like a salmon in yellow for the main clothing and then like this glowing red shirt, which I think would be something that could be pretty likely for this type of skin for overtime. And honestly, that's one of my favorite ones. But then keeping it going here with the final concept I had made, Turk versus Riptide is a very likely one to get a style. And this time around, I made it a sort of mint green, a little bit of a light blue with also this sort of prismatic. Is that the word you would use to describe that? His like mane. It's almost like, uh, what is that skin glow? Looks a bit like that clothing. I think again that they do something like that where they use unique effects for the overtime variants and stuff like that. But yeah, and then finally, guys, what about 8-Ball versus Scratch? Well, this one I think is unlikely to get a special overtime style. And the reason for that is because, well, mainly it already sort of has a special style. If you watched one of my previous videos, you would know that there is a virus type thing going on with this skin, which is very cool overall. I like what they're doing with that style. However, that means that they're probably not going to add yet a another thing to this skin specifically since it already has that virus thing going on with it. So again, I just think it's unlikely. It still could happen. This is one of my favorite skins from the battle pass. But yeah, I just wanted to bring that up. And then for the final thing I want to 
wanted to talk about in today's video, guys. I wanted to go back a bit to that one symbol that is on the arm of the purple version of Remedy. So again, that is this symbol right here, and keep an eye on what that symbol looks like. I know it's not the clearest picture, but you can see that it's got like two main lines going from the middle bottom to the left and the right, and then like a triangle, I think, at the top, stuff like that. Keep that symbol in mind, because if you then look at like the EGO symbol from the Battle Pass, you can see that it is not that symbol. And then also when you take a look at Alter, it is very clearly not that symbol as well. So what does this symbol mean? Well, honestly, guys, it's a bit of a mystery. So maybe we'll have to talk a bit more about that once we start to get more info about this uh, Season 11 Chapter 2 story. But I still wanted to highlight that. But anyways, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below for more fun videos like this coming up in the near future. On top of that, you can check out some of my previous videos here, such as on the left, going over the recent uh, Winterfest challenges and where to find the stuff and get the items. And then below that, some other fun videos I'm sure you'll enjoy. But again, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you in the next one.